Hi everybody. Welcome back to Curiosity the Science Show and this is episode number 38 for the month of December 2022. December is a month of solstice, isn't it? The winter solstice or the December solstice. So I'm looking forward to it. The, this this year the winter solstice is going to be happening on 31st uh, 31st of December this month, no? And uh, yes, yeah, so solstice as you know this is uh, uh people you can call it as like a winter solstice uh, but it's you know it it suffers from the southern bias or northern hemisphere bias right people from the southern hemisphere it's not really winter solstice for them it is summer or solstice so uh if i speak from the northern hemisphere perspective this is going to be the shortest day of the year or the longest night of the year the vice versa in the southern hemisphere right and in india we we call it as makara sankranti which is culturally and religiously important day which need not fall exactly on that time right because of the solar calendar and gregorian calendar there is a minor discrepancies last month we also saw the birth of 8 billionth human on the planet earth i mean there are several claims and the 15th of september is the day that the un uh said that 8 8 billion of the baby will be born uh the you know you might have seen that the claim by the philippines one baby girl was born claiming to be the 8 billion okay so whatever be the the, the human population is now 8 billion very interesting study from south africa says that crime is lower when the cities are getting greener interesting isn't it we need more green spaces and parks in our cities check out all these stories in the show notes below in the in the show notes you can see the links to all these original stories uk is of course uk is experiencing really warm weather like rest of the world because of the global warming obviously and now you know the last november i mean the november the last month of november has been the hottest november ever and it's now experience the uk is experiencing something called second spring you know so it's not really autumn or the the winter right it used to, it should be winter basically it's a cold month but still it's like a second spring with flowers are blooming uh, you know it's it's kind of very unusual in in the uh, english weather is concerned then as i speak to you right now today is the 1st of december the world's largest active volcano something called mauna loa is uh, now getting erupted in hawaii you can see some of the you know some of the uh, fantastic scenes over the bbc you can check it out you know it is it's the first time eruption since 1984 so that means around 40 years it didn't erupt at all you know so that is a very magnificent scenes are available in you know of the media you can just check it out so by the way you know mauna loa means the long mountains right So the summit of this mountain is um, around four thousand one hundred seventy meters above sea level. But if you really include right from the sea floor, this this structure of this mountain is coming up. It's larger than Mount Everest. It is the the height of this one is nine thousand one hundred seventy meters. Uh, the uh, at the same time the Everest is eight eight four eight, isn't it? So it's much larger than the Mount Everest. You know? So yes, it's it's erupting. coming next in our curiosity is about a review of uh, what really moved the sciences in the last month international science stories right discoveries the biggest one is that alzheimer's disease that the drug lucanimab has been hailed as the momentous breakthrough yet so it is basically a monoclonal antibody and if uh, this alzheimer's disease has been detected in the early phases then this antibody monoclonal antibody this particular drug can do wonders it can even reverse this alzheimer's disease the progression can be hampered there is a great story next is support pedagogy the attractive female students no longer earn higher grades when classes moved online during covid 19 you know so this we have covered in early days of uh, curiosity too during the the pandemic right so uh, all the classes were online and even interviews happen online and when you happen to see the students first time you will see that many students are short 
and many many people many uh, many candidates who selected for the employees were really short and really unattractive so it doesn't matter so all these biases like attractive people are more easier to get cracked through the interview right that is definitely it's a bias so all these biases can be addressed to a certain extent by going online that is very very interesting paper you know and of course female and male it's always better to uh, to put the number random number corresponding to the student so that uh, the teachers will not see that we cannot even guess is it is the paper we are checking is of a boys or a girls you know all these biases we have to address it you know and the study shows that when comparing students who have identical subject specific competence teachers are more likely to give higher grades to girls just that i, I told you now so they, there is a bias here boys are sidelined the girls get higher grades if if the teacher know that we are uh, looking at the girls script it's not the male teacher if female teacher also a bias towards a girl so it is better to cloud the gender of the answer script by means of random number it's like a bind double blind peer review you know so double blind exam assessment is uh, what is needed now uh, in light of this one you know now coming a story from uh, South Africa, the white students from South Africa who are randomly alerted to share a dorm room with the black student are less likely to express negative stereotypes of blacks and more likely to form interracial friendship. While black students on the other hand improved their CGPA and passed more exams and had lower dropout rates. So the mixing of the races can fight racism. A very interesting story, isn't it? Fifth is that one in five deaths in the US between the adults aged 20 to 49 is from excessive drinking alone. So the drinking is catastrophic, you know. One in five deaths, that's a lot. Sixth is that living alone increases the risk of depression by 42 percentage. Isn't it staggering? You know, and it's a large number study. It's a seven independent studies, a meta-analysis, including more than 1.2 lakh individual. You know, so that is something interesting. Seventh, just one surface crack on a Teflon coated pan, that is non-stick pan, can release about 9,100 plastic particles, the microplastics. Terrific impact for the environment as well as the human health, isn't it? Eighth story. Oldest evidence of the controlled use of fire to cook the food. You know, you can control the, the intensity of the fire or your burner, right? So similarly, the ancient humans also did that. And, uh, but in th this study is not about the humans. It is hominins. Homo sapiens didn't even evolve them. Homo sapiens evolved around 300,000 years back. This is 780,000 years back. Apparently capable of controlling the fire to cook their meal. So it is something very, very interesting uh, story in anthropology. Ninth story, a new breed of rice that is hybrid of annual Asian rice and perennial African rice could be a more sustainable option. Annual means that after the harvest, you really need to completely uh, clear that field and you need to plant again, to sow again, right? But perennial means that it can harvest again and again like fruit trees you know so this is very interesting you are mixing these two together when i read it i thought it is coming from international rice research institute but no the study this is a fantastic study of this uh, maybe past 20 years of the rice research coming from china you know so what this study found is this hybrid rice have been formed by the chinese researchers and they could able to produce grain for eight consecutive harvest over four years time and a yield comparable to the standard annual uh, you know uh, asian rice production you know and but much lesser cost and much lesser cost for the labor something ter tremendous impact impactful finding from the china now 10 stories that uh, long covid uh, you know that that study suggests that uh, the the connections in our brain the neuronal connections are lost in the long covid Patients. So long COVID means post COVID recovery. You still have lingering COVID, especially with the brain fog. You cannot think with clarity, and cognitive response time is impaired. 
so there is very interesting study about the neuronal uh, connection which is being lost check out the original list in the show notes 11th story plan based diet can cut bowel cancer risk in men by 22 percentage you know in, uh, in the nutrition study uh, if you adopt a vegetarian diet then you can control the the you know the the, the occurrence of this bowel cancer by 22 percentage is very interesting isn't yeah. it 12 overconfidence in one's reasoning ability and distrust of science are linked to the covid 19 conspiracy belief so if you distrust the science so you are, you tend to believe in those conspiracy theories about covid 19 and also over confidence in our ability something called dunning kruger right um, if you think that you know everything then chances are high that you are not smart while smart people are always doubtful about their uh, you know their uh, capabilities isn't it now 13th story evolution of tree roots triggered series of devonian mass extinction very interesting when the trees become stronger and when they have the roots uh, you know stronger roots then it triggered mass extinction you might wonder why the reason is that the evolution of tree roots likely flooded past oceans with excess nutrients causing massive algal blooms and these destructive algal blooms would have depleted most of the ocean's oxygen something called anoxia you know oxygen is getting depleted triggering a series of extinction event resulting ultimately to the mass extinction and you might wonder why the root can cause release of nutrient i would expect the vice versa right but early on what happened is that the root exudates tend to solubilize the phosphorus in the volcanic rock so the phosphorus gets solubilized because of this exudate and this phosphorus then released into the ocean triggering algal blooms very interesting isn't it check out that story 14th cannabis oil failed to improve the pain or quality of life in palliative care cancer patients so this cbd oil when i was in amsterdam i saw multiple shops selling cbd oil for everything headache or nausea or uh, you know pain uh, treatment or you name it whatever be right it's, a, it's i knew that it is a it's a textbook example of pseudoscience cbd oil uh, claiming to cure everything all ailment one oil can cure come on science doesn't work like that you right you need extraordinary evidences to substantiate your extraordinary claims so this has completely invalidated why the cbd oil uh, you know cannot be used to treat the pain in the palliative care now 15th story people don't mate randomly you know uh yeah so but that this this the the flawed assumption that they do is essentially part of many studies linking genes to diseases and traits you know so many studies assume that human human being the homo sapiens mate randomly and because of this core assumption, they are linking a gene, you know, one gene to one disease, right? For example, a tall Scandinavian male, right, is tend to uh, associate with, uh, you know, uh, let us say, let's say what, red-headed females, red hairs, you know, red-haired uh, female. The chances are high that they both belong to the same race, isn't it? It's not like random mating. The chances of this, uh, you know, non-random mating is extremely high. And that is the reason for many of these associations between genes and diseases. I think this is going to be very interesting finding. Uh, the paper is completely mathematical. Though it is a genetics paper, the paper is completely about, you know, probability and mathematics is really tough to comprehend. But I think this very interesting paper coming next in our curiosity is about the observances the general observance is that today is a world aids day tomorrow that that is second is national pollution prevention day here in india pollution prevention day third is the persons with disabilities fifth is the soil day all these are un observances seventh is civil aviation day ninth is anti-genocide and anti-corruption tenth is human rights day by the way, in connection with the UN Human Rights Day, Central University of Punjab here, we are conducting an international quiz. You can compete in that, you can participate in that quiz. 
you know it's these are all avenues of learning all the questions is about uh, human rights okay so please come and participate follow uh, you know follow us in the instagram or uh, not in the instagram though facebook right so anyway it's all part of meta metaverse isn't it so please do join our community the ai community where i do share all these links okay and also the curiosity groups in the google groups do join in our group 11th is the mountain day 12th is neutrality day you know like non-aligned movement the neutrality right and 12th is also the universal health coverage day 18th is migrants day and 27th is epidemic preparedness day very very important day epidemic preparedness or even pandemic preparedness right uh, we have to be prepared for the next covid 19 pandemic coming next is astronomy events of this month all are binocular events as usual i suggest skyview app the best android app for amateur astronomers like you and me today is going to be the mars at perigee apogee and perigee two of the important points of its orbital around the sun you know and sixth is cassiopeid meteor shower seventh is puppet valid meteor shower several meteor shower in this month eighth is our full moon day and this is called the cold moon you know and ninth is mono serotid meteor shower twelfth is alpha hybrid meteor shower fourteenth is geminid meteor shower sixteenth is komae berenicid meteor shower very fancy name right komae berenicid meteor shower 20th is december leonis meteor shower 22nd is december solstice which i told you looking forward to it the, the winter solstice here in the northern hemisphere and if you're watching from south africa or anywhere in southern part of the world australia or south america then it is the summer solstice for you 26th is moon saturn conjunction and 29th is moon jupiter conjunction there are several opportunities for young researchers in this month too. ASEAN India Collaborative Research and Development Scheme by the Department of Science and Technology of our Government of India is open now. 31st December is the deadline if you want to collaborate with other ASEAN countries, you know, especially the South Asian countries, right? Eiffel Scholarship uh, for the Masters and PhD in France is again it's open now it's 10th january is the deadline i mean there are several such uh, you know opportunities please check our young academy of india's facebook page and be part of our growing community of lifelong learners okay so i will see you again with another episode of curiosity in the next month that is the month of january till then take care of yourself and if you can someone else too goodbye